Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I am here in Paris, California, which is like Matthews too. But uh, today I am here because I am continuing my series of videos about helping owner operators. And today we have this truck over here. This is a M2 with a DD15 engine. And uh, he called me and he had some problems. If you want to know how to contact me, you can use Instagram. You can go to Instagram uh, and look for Francisco Amaya YouTube. And there you can find me. You can contact me there. and. Who knows, probably the next one is going to be you. So, the reason why I'm here is because this truck has the checking light on, the amber light on, and the DEF light is flashing, which means that it has a problem with the emissions. That's right, the, the uh, DEF light is, is uh, flashing. And, um, of course, this uh, gives you so many problems, derailing and everything. And for that, we have here the owner of the truck. What's your name? Darren. Oh, I used my hand. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yes, um, you've been contacting me for a while, and I know you were like trying to reach me, and it took it took me a while to come. So yeah, a couple of days, but yeah. we're all right. Yeah, so that's the way I do. I mean, I try to cover as much as I can, but I don't feel uh, like I am putting on a side. Just like I will get to you, okay? So anyway. Uh, you were telling me about the codes and everything. So uh, let me check it out right now. And as soon as I get the conclusion of the problem, I want to get back to you. All right, yes, sir. All, All right. right. All right. Uh, the situation that is happening is that this music is loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now it's better. All right. Uh, the situation when it's happening with the truck is that uh, we have these cuts on over here. It says D D F unit error, and then we have these three cuts over here. These cuts, the uh, regularly fouled ignore, and all those cuts are because the fault exists and it hasn't been repaired. And the last code over here, this one, before the last one, this one, it means then uh, there is a problem in the wiring. Something is short to ground. And there is another code, which is the pressure sensor circuit fell low, which means as well, thing is shorted to ground. So uh, based on the codes over here, it's pretty easy to recognize what is the problem for me, right? Uh, but uh, the problem that is going on right now is that uh, there is a problem with the wiring of the truck. That's the reason why we're getting all these cuts. So uh, let's, uh, let, me, let me check over there the wiring and then I'm gonna get uh, uh, the conclusion of what the actual problem with it. Yeah. Is that your son? Yeah, I'm trying to tell him, turn it down, turn it down, but he hasn't looked yet. <laughs> he turned it down anyway. All right, come, come on. Turn it down here, the radio. We're making movies over here. What? <laughs> what? Are you recording now? Huh? What? All right. Uh, so the problem happens on that, on those codes specifically, especially ones that had the the short to ground cuts or or uh, low voltage or high voltage. That means there is a wiring most most of the time. So in this case, we have the one box SCR. There is two types of SCR box, especially on the M2s. The one that goes vertical over here in this position and the ones the one box over here so they're kind of similar the difference is how uh, the components are in this case this component is uh, just the basic one that you want to find in any front line models but anyway uh, one very common problem of this SCR system is the wiring on here this wiring over here it goes back very easy because it's made of a very cheap material and that what is causing that kind of problems. As for example, I'm gonna show you right now. If you come over here, see, and see if for you too, as the owner of the truck, you can see the bare wires over here, see? You can see the wire there, see? Mm -hmm. You can see it, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is the problem. This is what causing the problem to your truck. So this. So this wiring, the whole wiring, this piece over here, is is a is a SCR box wiring. That's the name of it. So uh, it has to be replaced. Okay. The SCR wiring, that piece over there, from all the way from here to here, it goes to here. Okay. 
to this piece over here you disconnect this one and then disconnect all the sensors and then pull it out and then bring the new one and that's it that's your problem oh, you're pretty good. yeah without using any troubleshooting nothing it is just better experience so all you have to do now it is just remove that put the new one back on that's that good would go. that will that will fix your problem all right Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, so that's how uh, everything goes, especially on this. It, it doesn't have to be only on uh, DD13s. It can be on DD16s and DD15s as well. Yeah, it's the actual system. Yeah, it is pretty similar. The way the system works is similar. It doesn't matter the engine that you have. The difference is the location and how uh, uh, hard it is to remove it. Okay. In this case, this is so easy. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah this okay. is so easy to remove it. I can see, like, uh, it would be so easy to remove it, but on Cascadias and some of Coronados and all that, those are, like, super hard to remove it. Okay. But in this case, everything is exposed. You can just, like, remove everything from there and there and then just remove it and it's easy. Okay. That, 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 that's the solution to your problem. You don't have to go through another troubleshooting or nothing. Simple as that. And you don't have to do regen. You don't have to do any. As soon as you put it on, the lights will be off. All right, thank yeah. you. One happy owner operator. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's, that's the reason why I'm doing these videos, the fate, uh, that's what it's called, of this series, uh -huh. because I'm helping owner operators with my videos, right? That's great. I know that I, many mechanics, they just take too much time to do something and then later they don't fix it and they uh, say, tell you to replace something and then replace another thing, they replace another well, thing. I, I want to let you know I've replaced $750 worth of parts because of the computer telling me you need to replace the knock sensor yes. and from the knock sensor to the pressure sensor for the DEF fluid which yes. they don't sell. You have to buy the whole dozer. Yeah, it is the whole dozer, that one. dollars part. So I did all this and still the same code yes so so yeah if you are a mechanic over there watching this video don't just follow the troubleshooting of detroit code yes. because detroit troubleshooting is cool i mean like it will guide you a basic but don't follow completely because uh if you follow it it will guide you to a unnecessary repair yeah so it was one thing and then the same yes. code was another thing after i repaired the yes. thing it told me yeah, and I, we did it three times, and finally I got you. Yeah, so all all you have to do is be combine, uh, have a combination of uh, experience and 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 books. That's what you have to do, and then you're gonna get problems like this, like this, and then you're gonna get money like this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the point. I mean, like experience is everything, and that's why I decided to come over here. And yeah, it's pretty simple problem, if you know, right? If you know it. But that's that's all. That's all right. the problem. Uh, hopefully. Uh, as soon as you get the parts, you just get the harness. You just make sure to say SCR harness. SCR. SCR. SCR harness. SCR. SCR harness. Don't don't do engine harness. Don't do anything else because there is two SCR harness. It's the one that comes for the computer and the one that comes from the box. And I want the one so the, the one from the box. Okay. okay, just be clear on that. It gotta be a little box like this, like a little box, and the cord is gonna look like kind of silver. Okay. Yeah, because the other one is a big ass box like this and it's gonna have like all those uh, black covers and everything like that. So you get this one, this little one, you wanna see it. Right. You see like this one, it's, it's gonna look similar. Good it's very job. small, yeah, and that's everything. That, that will be the solution to your problem. And then the light will go off and uh, you won't have any more problems with the DEF. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. You gonna talk to your truck too? Uh, yeah, no, his computer's good. You got a fast one too, huh? Uh, what? The fast one? The fast computer is A lot of them are all laggy and too. Yeah. slow. No, no, this one is good. This one is good. Okay, but he used number. all that and his knowledge with my system, he yeah. knew where to go to look for you shorts. You specialize in his motor so or something? Inside yeah. Inside there in the sheathing somewhere, there's two wires shorting out? Yeah, you'll see. Like, if you have a knife, uh -huh. I, can, I can cut it off and you will see. Probably, probably you can fix it there. If you, uh, let me see. Get a knife. Like, like it has to be like, like a blade, uh, something sharp. Yeah, but. Uh, okay. I used to have patience when I was younger, but now I'm old and I can't move as good. And <laughs> All right, one more time. What does this stand for? Francis. Faith. Faith stands for Francisco Amaya in Trunking Hub. Francisco Amaya Trucking Hub. In Trucking Hub. In Trucking Hub. Okay, all right.
for all you people out you there. See how the wire is over here? Mm -hmm. You can see it, see? Yeah, you can see where it's... Yeah. What was it touching to do that? Yeah, it's just like... It's the truck, Guru. Gr yeah, right here. here. So, the thing is like, it goes like all over over here. Mm -hmm. So, it's to actually fix it, I don't know if it's only over here. Right. It could be somewhere over here, it could be somewhere over there. That's what I was thinking. So, it is hard to know where it is. So, by moving it, Right, that's what I said. It had to be two wires touching. Yeah. To, to ground out, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this one is broken now. See? Mm -hmm. this piece yeah, here. no, they're, they're all of them because they're outside in the heat. Yeah. There you go, you got it. Fucking yeah. everything's made on these trucks with plastic nowadays. Yeah, because it's, it's lighter. And that was the first one I ever unplugged. And it just went. You know, in fact, it's down here on the ground somewhere. There it is right here. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dad, is this your socket? Yeah. All right. That's pretty much all. All right, so we're not, uh, that's it. Uh, will, will you do me a favor before you leave because my light's flashing? Will you regen my truck for me? It's not going to do anything. It will make my light go away? No. It did before? Yeah, but it's like the, that code is still on. I can clear it, and probably if I clear it, it can go off. But it won't. Because last time when it came on, that guy come and force regen it. And yeah. the, light, the flashing light went away for a couple of weeks. Yeah, probably because of the of, of of the of the thing just moving moving around. But you have to re you have to remove that. I mean, replace that. Okay. Right now, it is off. I can see that. You remove the codes. It didn't come back. Yeah, it didn't come back. See. Jesus. It didn't come back. See? Hallelujah. Yeah. So. Uh, but uh, you have to replace the sensor, uh, the, the harness. Yeah, you have to replace the harness. I, I, I clear all the cuts and uh, everything is cool now. Okay. But that also mean then, I mean, then it's just gonna stay like that forever. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that an M M C what? What the 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 S C R S C R the S C R both harness. All right, man. All right, thank you. All right, another owner operator thing uh, is happy, and that's the point of this series of videos, making owner operators feel happy about their trucks because everybody is in a really hard, in a really tight situation right now. It was easy to diagnose the problem because the experience I already have. But uh, if you are a mechanic, just make sure to uh, combine the experience with the books and everything and you will see that you will have very successful repairs don't just focus on whatever Ditro says on their books or something because sometimes it is not just that it has to have some extra that it comes from here and that's a recommendation from me to you and uh, i hope uh, it, it helps you and um, it will actually give you some um, experience as a mechanic and you as a driver or owner operator of anything as well just follow follow that and you will be uh, very um, confident on whatever you want to do and uh, that's what we have for today computer is down it is work is very important you have you can have uh, the knowledge but you need the tools as well so i have the tools i have the knowledge and i have the experience it's like everything is machine right and, and so that's all we have for the moment um uh, we just uh want to head back to my home and press and hopefully next time i'm gonna be there at your place and um i can be helpful to you as well uh i can be um I can be fixing your problem i can i can tell you what's wrong with your truck so that will help a lot and uh, just uh, the way you want to contact me, just make sure to go to Francisco Maya YouTube on Instagram. Just look for Francisco Maya on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube. And then you're going to find me and then you can contact me there. Make sure to follow me. It's very important. As well, you can find my cameraman there. He's the one that is helping me to do these videos. It's very important because I feel that these videos are more helpful than my regular videos. But that's why I separate these videos from the other videos to make it more helpful. And that's it. Make sure to like the video, like it, because it's very important. That way I can feel confidence that my work is being appreciated for all of you. 
uh, subscribe. Very important. It's very important to subscribe so I can continue feeling, making videos like this or making better videos every time because that's what I'm trying to do. Making better videos for all of you that are watching because uh, you want a better content, a better uh, ideas, and that's what I'm trying to cover. But for that, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well, very important. Thank you for watching. Damn it, I had the stupid